All right, I brought back the bacon. All right, this video is a little bit about uh, my childhood and some of the habits I've developed. This is one of my oldest friends. I've known Jack Menendez since the fifth grade. And what I want to talk about now is when we were kids, Jack's father, Julie Menendez, was an amazing guy. He coached Cassius Clay in the 1960 Olympics. Now, some young guys say, who's Cassius Clay? Well, Cassius Clay changed his name to, yes, Muhammad Ali. Well, when I was a kid, Mr. Menendez had a bunch of boxing equipment in his garage, and he had a speed bag as well as a big bag. And as kids, we used to go out there, and he'd come out there and give us a little, little advice on how to work these tools. So I, I recently pulled out a speed bag that I had from a long time ago, and I set it up on my deck, and I thought, you know, this is really a good exercise. And that got me thinking about all the things that I do that are fun, but are also exercise. I, I like my rope swing. Here I am doing it without the loop. The first one I did with a loop, you know, I'm kind of nurturing a sore shoulder right now. So I'm working through a lot of different things to try to strengthen it. I can't even do a pull-up right now, you know, but hanging is good. So my right arm is good. My left arm is really bad. I, I hurt my shoulder on a job. and I'm going to keep working it and get it back in shape. It's a muscle ache. You know, it's not a torn tendon or, a, you know, rotator cuff or anything like that. So I keep working it. But it got me thinking long and hard about, you know, some of the things that I do at my age. You know, I'm 65 years old and I've always been active in doing tree work and rock climbing and and lots of other activities, but you got some of the things that I do just for fun are all about, you know, maintaining my, not only my strength, but my balance and my coordination. You know, I, I still have a little slack cable that I put up on my property. You know, this is so valuable, so important, because people don't realize the importance of, of maintaining, you know, the skills that you develop throughout your whole lifetime. And you've heard the old saying, you know, use it or lose it. Well, it, it's the same with, you know, your body. You know, if you don't keep up with things that you've learned, you, you know, it just goes away. You know, it's not like riding a bike. You have to keep up with it. So this, uh, this speed bag here, I got to thinking about it, it's, it's the quality of the exercise. And Jack came over and spent a few days here. And, you know, like I said, he's one of my longest friends. I've known him since the fifth grade. And... He's also a rock climber, but he kept up his skills, you know, from what his father taught him. He, he's not a boxer, but, you know, this, he realizes the value of the speed bag. And there's so many tricks to using a speed bag. You know, there's, there's coordinated, you know, uh, punches and there's, you know, the timing is important. And, 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 you know, it's fun. It really is fun. And after, you know, 15 or 20 minutes of doing that, man, you are sore. So I'm going to keep it up. Jack was showing me some of the tricks that I need to learn. and There's lots of little ways of, of doing it. And he actually hadn't done it for a while, so he was getting out there. He was warming up, getting back into it. But, you know, what I really, really want to emphasize is don't give up. Jack is also 65 years old, but he's incredibly strong. He's incredibly fit. You know, he's capable of doing a lot of things that most people from our age have lost and, it, and it's hard to get it back so if you're a little bit older like me or even older still I want you to think about this you know get back into shape start doing the things things that are fun things that you know you, you know I don't care what it is you know whether it's golf or tennis or whatever kind of activities that you like to keep up on but you got to keep your body moving and if you're younger I wanted to talk to you about starting some habits that are you know that are fun and things that you can keep up with i'm really into balance exercises and i've always ridden a, a unicycle since i was a little kid i still have a unicycle and every once in a while i bring it out and i think "Ooh, boy that's that's kind of hard i've kind of lost it but you know amazingly some of these things do come back to you the the balance is is there and and it took me just a few minutes to tune it in again and these balance exercises, they really equate to work on the job site. You know, if you're doing tree work like I do, or, or so many other activities, you don't realize how important just 
the the full functions of, of your coordination and your balance and and your skill level and, and your hand eye coordination all of these things play such an important role so keep it up you know if you're young pick up some hobbies and pick up some habits that's the key word habits so uh, use it or lose it that's the key